You have arrived at the Chronoscope excavation site. Nell Gan is here somewhere, but can this place truly help her find her brother, or is she being deceived? Nell Gan smiles at you and turns to speak to the others. These adventures. Professor Tremus gleefully turns to the nightmarish Mind Flayer. Keratrix, begin channeling Nell Gan's thoughts into the Chronoscope. Now, Miss Nell. This is very important. Think back to the last time you saw your brother. Yes, that was in Stormreach. He was performing at his favorite spot by the Pawn Exchange, the day the Devil Army attacked. The Devils overwhelmed us. People were panicking, trying to flee. And I lost sight of Nat. Oh, Nat, where did you go? Nell and her companions vanished into a portal. Before you can follow, a green creature appears out of nowhere and sneers, All right, boys. Tremus' orders had to kill the squid face and anyone else left here. With a blood-curdling scream, the last of Bazdor's crew is dispatched. It appears Caratrix survived their attack. The Mind Flayer struggles to its feet. Is this... is this the Stormreach Marketplace? You hear the sounds of pillage and slaughter. A mystical doorway floats against the east wall of the tavern. Whoever created it, maybe down below you is the marketplace, now a war zone in the midst of a devil invasion. At the center is a huge red tent, but it is not the tent you remember. Something strange is happening there. There are Abishai in here, but strangely, they do not attack. One of them sneaks. The evil Tremus begins laying down his demands for Nel Gan's life. You will go to the bank of Kandarek, to their Lord's March branch just next door. There, you must acquire the key to the Gan's deposit box. I don't care what you have to do to get it. Bring the key back to me, and high atop a platform in the bank lobby, tiefling armor. Just one more thing. You might run into a muscle-brained devil named Bloodplate. He's the aggressive type. <laughs> Good luck, fools. Smiths! I'll need replacements! Thank <laughs> you. 
bleeding ichor and maggots. The mighty blood. You have the deposit box key. Now, to return to the Phoenix Tavern and trade it for Nelgan's life. Dreamus eagerly takes the key and unlocks the deposit box. At last, I have it. The weapon that I travel back in time for. The Sliver of Time. Now, to keep my bargain, I shall return Nelgan to you. As a clinging to the last threads of life. Ah, that's better. Now that I have stolen her youth for myself, I'm headed for the market tent. Where I shall kill General Suleimanis with the sliver of time and become the new leader of the Devil Army! <laughs> Whatever the devils are doing in the market tent is manifest. The sliver of time must be destroyed in order to save Nell, but it's somewhere in the market tent. The here has opened up a secret way for you to get there through the steam tunnels. Only hours ago, Devil Legions moved through the steam tunnels in an attempt to flank the Twelve. At least some of them are still here. You see a grotesque Orthon captain below, sporting a large repeating crossbow. The Orthon archer collapses from your relentless blows. Now, somewhere in this sewer should be the portal to the market tent. Tremus is attempting to summon the Devil General to this tent, but when he sees you, Tremus stops his incantations and fumes, It's you again! What does it take to make you give up? My Abishai minions, come, destroy the mortal pests!
With the combined scream of five voices, the Abishai perish in a swirl of power. At almost the same moment, you become aware of something new and powerful arriving in the tent. A gigantic devil now stands next to Tremus. It stares disdainfully down at him and bellows, Why do you summon me, Tiefling? Are you so eager to die? You're the one who will die when I use the sliver of time to drain your youth! The sliver of time shattered? How? <laughs> Idiotic tiefling, you cannot steal you from one who is immortal. No! Mercy, my lord Sulamanis! I think I shall take you back to Shadrach and have you put to the question. With Sulamadi's departure, the tent begins fluttering with a massive impulse of infernal energy. It may not be prudent to remain here much longer. The devil magics around the market tent have finally reached their peak. Whatever they are trying to do, it is happening now. 